I'm Zerazimus and welcome back to TechIt. Uh, I've made a, a couple of changes uh, to my factory since the last episode. Um, it's still far from complete, but I've uh, I've moved all my stuff over to this side uh, before it was over this side, which I've now made into my uh, equivalent exchange area. Um, so I have a couple of energy condensers uh, just making red matter blocks at the moment, which are these blocks here. Uh, and I think I'm going to use them as, as building materials because I, I really like the way that they look. So I've got uh, four energy condensers and two energy collector setups at the back here, which are um, charging, or they have charged these Kleinstar Omegas. Um, anyway, moving swiftly on, because I'm trying to keep these episodes uh, quite short. What we're going to do now is start uh, getting into Railcraft, because Railcraft is um, yet another mod in the Tekkit pack, which I've never ever used. Um, so I've done a little bit of, of looking into it, and there's a few things that we need to do in order to be able to build uh, the tracks and the rails. Now this here is a rolling machine, which uh, which you use to build the rails, so that's the, uh, the metal part of the, the track. And then we also have to make the rail bed separately. Now for them, we need uh, what's called, I think it's creosote oil. You have to coat the wood with that so that, um, like weather protection type stuff, I guess. Um, now that is a byproduct of coke from a, uh, of making coke coal from a coke oven. So we're gonna build a couple of coke ovens today and also another thing called a blast furnace which I will show you shortly. I'm going to build them out here. I've just laid out where I want to put them. Um, and we need special bricks to make these. So what we need to make... Uh, I ha I've got all of the blast furnace bricks that I need already and they are made like so with nether brick, soul sand and magma cream. And we also need to make some more of these coke oven bricks which are made uh, like so with brick and sand. So let's. Um, I've, I've forgotten how to make them already. Okay, the wrong way around. Here we go. Okay, now I want to build these up one level, like so, uh, because I need to be able to take things out of the bottom. So now you have to build them. A uh, well, no particular order, but it has to. You have to build this this pattern that I am building. Okay, and then I think just one in there, and we know it's complete because you can see that there on each side. And when I right click, you can see the. Uh, the interface here. So we put uh, either coal or charcoal in here, uh, sorry coal or wood, and this will make uh, either coke coal or charcoal and creosote oil as a byproduct. Anyway we want a couple of these because it's very slow. I think it takes about three minutes to make one piece of coke coal. Um, you'll notice I'm able to, to to jump very high, that's uh, because I have the equivalent exchange gem armor on, which um, it's it, it it does a lot of things. I can I can do that. I can uh, set things, shoot lightning at things. I can uh, set off explosions around myself. Uh, so it's a lot of fun. Uh, but that's not what this episode's all about. So let's, uh, as I say, I'm trying to trying to keep the episodes reasonably short, but it depends on what I'm building, really. Um, I'm never really sure how much of the building process to leave in, either. Um, but we'll, we'll see how it goes, I guess. Leave, leave some comments, and you know, I'll try and adjust my, my videos to, to what people like. Anyway, so there are my three coke ovens, and now let's build my blast furnace, which I think I will... Uh, no, I'll make that one level higher as well, actually. So, Oops. 
and these are the the blast furnace bricks which I think look awesome um, I wouldn't mind using them as a building material but I'm not a hundred percent sure if I know that the wiki for the coke bricks says um, not to use them as a building material because they periodically check to see if if they form a valid coke oven so if you have a lot of them um, being used as building materials that aren't in the form of a, a valid coke oven you, you could have performance issues. Now, I'm not sure if that's the same I, I would assume that it's the same with the, the blast furnace bricks because they also have to form a, a valid oven which incidentally is uh, a different shape to the... Uh, am I missing one? I've made a mistake somewhere. Okay here we go it was in my uh, alchemy bag thing all along Anyway, that should be right. There we go. Okay. So as I was saying, this these bricks also, I, I believe, will periodically check to see if they're in this uh, valid formation here to make the blast furnace. So I would imagine that uh, the, you would have the same performance problems if you use these bricks to build. Uh, but it doesn't actually mention anything about that on the wiki, um, whereas it does for the coke oven bricks. So maybe it's just an omission. I'm not really sure. Anyway, what we need to do is we need to put, uh, bear with me one second, right, we need to put, uh, we need to pipe coal going into the top and coke and charcoal is going to come out of the sides and the creosote is going to come out of the bottom. So we've got a bit of piping to do. Just have a quick bite to eat. Okay, now my quarry here is uh, still still going strong. So I want to what I want to do is uh, uh, I want the coal, whatever coal comes out the quarry, to go over to my coke ovens. Now at the moment, coal just ends up in this chest here. So I'm going to expand this. Um, this pipe down underground. We're going to go down under towards the coke ovens. Uh, all of the coal will go either black or blue. 20% of it into the chest, 80% of it over to my coke ovens. Everything else will go through the red, which will end up in the chest anyway. And that's just so I don't have to put, you know, all of these items in that uh, black slot. A bit ghetto but it'll work for now until I sort something a bit better out. So we have a piece of coal coming up here already which is ideal so let's uh, check this out. Come on, come on. You have to put a, uh, a golden pipe a bit closer I think. So here's our coal, it goes on straight away, so that will produce coke coal there and creosote oil there. So we need to get the coke coal out from the sides and the creosote oil out from the bottom. So we're going to take our coke coal out of the front. So let's get some wooden transport pipes. and some redstone engines and we will use cobblestone transport pipes turn that around so we want it all going over to the left into our blast furnace like so. I think that should work. I'm not sure if it has to be where the window is or not. Um, presumably we will find out. So we have one here ready to go so let's turn our redstone engines on. And here it comes. Okay, so I've tunneled underneath them all 
and let's connect all of my creosote oil pipes up. And iron pipe here. that way okay what else do we need we need to get our steel out of the out of the blast furnace which is going to come from... I believe it can come from any side according to the wiki so let's get our steel we'll put it there with a redstone engine underneath it like so and look, for the moment we're just going to put that straight into a chest. Okay, so our steel should come out into that chest. Our creosote oil really should actually... I'm going to bring it up to a chest here for now. Let's break that. Put that there and put a chest there. Okay, so obviously I'll neaten this all up uh, off camera, I guess. Let's just cover my holes up. Okay, so uh, we've got coal in all of them. Uh, we've got a bit of cut coal ready to go, so we need to get our steel, or sorry, our iron into here which is going to come from our automatic processing facility so our iron comes out uh, of this oven here and some of it goes to be refined and some of it goes into this chest here so I at the moment we have what do we have we have two-thirds of it are being refined and uh, one part of it is going into the chest over here so how much do I want to take out? Uh, how am I going to do this? Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to knock that out there and we're going to put a diamond pipe in there and go down like so. So I need a couple of iron ingots. Okay, what colours have we got? We've got blue is the chest, and black will go over to the blast furnace. So I want two thirds of iron going to my blast furnace, and one third going into the chest. So let's go downstairs and bring this over. Okay, here we go. Okay, here we go, here we go. This way, down this way. That just seemed to disappear. That was very weird. Okay, there we go, it's in our blast furnace. Just uh, shot through a bit quickly. And steel ingots, there it goes, and here comes our steel ingot out the side. So, we have the beginnings of a functioning system. Well, it's a functioning system, it's a bit messy at the moment. I'll, I'll neaten that all up off camera, as I usually do. Um, now you can actually load and unload these with um, with railcraft items. There's uh, railcraft loaders and and stuff. So I think you, uh, then you 
effectively using minecarts rather than pipes. Um, so once I've uh, got all the materials to make that stuff, I will uh, set this up with with uh, railcraft loading instead of buildcraft loading, uh, just because. Um, this is uh, these are railcraft items or or furnaces that I'm I'm playing around with, so I should try and use railcraft as as much as I can while working with railcraft. If that makes sense, <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm just uh, babbling on at the moment. This um, this episode has been too long already. I think uh, it's taken a little bit longer than I thought to set this up, but I mean that's kind of how it goes when you're trying to figure it out as you go along. Okay, I'm back and everything is uh, hooked up and I've uh, I've covered up the pipes. I will neaten it up a, a bit more off camera. Uh, probably raise the, the floor level up up to here so it, it matches the factory and I might extend the factory out to uh, encompass this as well. But anyway, that will all be done off camera. So we've got everything hooked up now. You can see some coal coming in here and it will be split uh, between the three ovens. I don't think I'll have any problems with uh, these ovens getting full and the coal overflowing because um, the the inflow isn't isn't that high. Uh, so th the coke coal is going to come out the front here and go along this way into our blast furnace which is going to cook iron ingots which come up this pipe here and go in here and that will give us steel ingots which come out the side here. So I'll show you what all of this stuff is actually used for very quickly. So I'll get my, my steel ingots from here and I still haven't got any... Uh, okay, I think I've made a bit of a mistake here. What have I done? I've put an iron pipe there instead of a cobblestone. There we go. Okay, so we got some there that I picked up when I broke it anyway. Uh, let's just get all the stuff that we can get. Uh, so that comes out the bottom, remember? Um, anyway, let's show you what this stuff is all used for. So I have my rolling machine over here, which I don't have enough steel. Hang on. That's, this is um, surprisingly active. I don't think that this stuff would actually be in use very often. Um, <coughs> just because I've only got one quarry running and it's it's quite big, so there'd be large patches of um, where, you, where you're just getting cobblestone, really. But it's doing okay, actually. It's doing okay, considering it's only been running for a, a short period of time. Um, if I just go AFK and leave it, I should uh, end up with a decent amount of stuff. Anyway, so this rolling machine, if we use iron, we get eight standard rails, like so. Uh, just throw them on the floor for now. Whereas if we use steel, we get 16 standard rails. So that's basically the point of um, of what we've just made there, just to double our rail output. Um, I mean, you you might say we could just condense iron and uh, not worry about the inefficiency, but there's no fun in that. I want to uh, quite like playing around with all this these other mods. Um, so I'll just quickly show you what this creosote oil is used for. Um, how do we do this? I think we have to make wooden slabs and then like so and that makes us wooden ties now I need four wooden ties four wooden ties make ah, I didn't realize I could make wooden posts out of them but apparently so um, okay, four wooden ties gives me a... I think that's just a, 
a, a bug with the tool tip. I don't think that's a stone rail bed, that's a, a wooden rail bed. You can actually make stone ones which are used for high speed rails I believe. Um, but they're obviously made of stone, not wood, like I, I've just made. Anyway, so how do I now... I don't quite know how... There we go. And there we go, we have 16 tracks, uh, which I've, I've never used before. So, um, in coming episodes we'll be playing with, um, with Railcraft a little bit. Anyway, uh, that's it for today. Thanks for watching, and I hope you've enjoyed it. Bye.